Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do the perfect bang blowout. So, I mean, this could be done with flat iron or with, today I'm going to be using a round brush and a blow dryer. So, uh, same technique, um, just use whatever you need to. Obviously, a flat iron if your hair is more curly or coarse or um, just frizzy, I guess. Um, so, my bangs are just pinned back right now because they're a mess. And I will just show you a simple way that um, no matter what kind of, I have pretty long bangs, so it almost kind of looks like it's um, just my shortest layer. But anyway, the point of this blowout is that you can, it can be used for if you have straight across bangs, if you have side swept bangs, or if you just part your hair down the middle. Okay, so um, there's still a little bit of moisture in my bangs. Um, but, I mean, it's fairly dry. Um, so, the secret is, obviously, you part the hair that is for your bangs. And, obviously, you can just add this to your, uh, like, regular blowout when you're blow-drying your hair. Um, so, I guess this is kind of where mine are. Um, okay, so the first step is that you um, separate that section in half. So, you get top front section, and you separate that over. So I'm going to get this bottom section out of the way, and um, yeah. alright, so I'm going to use a blow dryer and a round brush, and for the top section I'm going to be blow drying into the face, so imagine perfectly swoopy uh, round bangs. Obviously we don't want that big. Um, like very volume where you can like stick a hand through or anything but this will lay flat um, I'm just showing you this um, in order to make your bangs seem fuller and just more voluminous And just hold that brush into place so that the ends kind of bevel in and just look shinier and healthier. Okay, when you're done with that section, just kind of put it back and away from you. And then you grab that last half part of the bangs. And now for this part, we're going to do the opposite. Instead of coming down this way like we did to the top part, we are going to go over and blow dry under. bring them both down together and what you did was by bringing the bottom section kind of coming down and the top section coming up when they kind of met together you give this like illusion of like double thickness of the bangs that you have so if you had the side bangs that just kind of sits nicely to whichever side obviously you want or the straight across just part it down the middle and you see how it kind of just adds a little volume there and it doesn't just look stiff straight down. So that's just very simple and um, just focusing on bangs and uh, okay so I hope that helped you out and may you have awesome bangs. <laughs>